today I'll be showing 26 new CS2 tips and tricks that you don't know featuring insane pixel gaps, crazy boosts, mind blowing utility and more. Rob shows an insane position to defend B, he is going to crouch behind the car. The reason why this position is so good, look at how he positions with the car though. The car is going to be able to allow him to avoid these flashes that land inside the cubby towards the left there. Sinner throws an instant blue dumpster smoke at long. The purpose of the smoke is to put out any CT's Molotov to allow your teammates to go ahead and contest long. The smoke also extends out, giving you cover to work with. SDA makes a 200 IQ play. The CTs are an eco. He buys a scout decoy, throws the decoy, and then refunds the scout. His teammates pushing mid, and the purpose of the decoy is to make it appear that the CTs have a scout peeking mid, hoping to scare the T's so they don't peek mid. New A smokes from Cloud9, where they throw a two smoke wall waterfall that is going to allow Boomich to safely drop. Boomich throws the bridge smoke, so he's going to set up and crouch next to his mark, aim at this part of the window. Then left click throw, afterwards he's going to throw a flash before dropping down where he has the full cover of his smokes to backstab the CT. As he throws the avant-garde smoke, crouch next to his wall, aim here then left click throw. Device is going to get boosted on top of this box with an op where he's going to hold lower tunnels where he's going to get the opening pick. Astralis have a tactic where they rush into lower tunnels and upper by using this smoke that's going to give them full cover in order to do so. The smoke goes through the rooftop, lands at the entrance of the T side. A Strahl's trick play where Yabby is going to smoke the mid door to allow them to safely come out towards Xbox where Stown is going to get boosted behind Xbox from Yabby and he is going to peek to Sui. Dupree was going to push down Sui but then he spots him at the last second and tries to fall back and gets owned. LNZ shows how to smoke a cross from outside long, stand with that line, aim here below this mark, jump throw, then he's going to flash his teammates out long and they're going to rush up. Start throwing the long a corner smoke that lands on top of the roof because it lands faster and it also extends out much more so it's going to give you nicer cover for you to safely come out of door. Xanter shows a genius way to take cave control. First he Molotovs off the right side of cave, then he sets up to do this wall bang on anyone holding the left side cubby. The Molotov only reaches the right side so CTs inside this cheetah part area can only play on the left and this wall bang is going to take care of that position. Elive gets smoked out short and he's about to show an insane wall bang lineup where he is going to stand and aim here, then without moving his mouse, crouch to the left of this wall, and when he hears the plant, he's just going to press mouse 1, and that gets the first frag, and he's going to try it again here, and he tags up the second player. This was such a 200 IQ trick play lineup from Elive, stopping the first plant, and he almost gets the second, tagging that player up. Dejoko is going to smoke banana and how 3D Max is going to use this smoke as you'll see is they're going to boost to try to see over the smoke towards the door. However, Lucky gets unlucky as at the last second here when Zontex comes around the corner, he sees him jumping up. Last week I showed Tapson throwing a long Molotov using a different lineup. This is an easier one. All you have to do is aim there, then jump throw covers both sides. Sensu has his teammate towards Banana on the cubby, so he is going to make a play here using the B door smoke against the CTs, sneaks to the right of it, lurks through, and is able to catch the CT off guard. For the CTs, be careful throwing the B door smoke, especially if you see it extend out towards you. Mako makes his way out mid towards elbow and he is going to throw a smoke off this wall that lands towards donut. We know that CTs can do the same towards the elbow from donut. Blame F is going to make a 200 IQ play after Crims gets run down. So Blame F is going to do the spray as he runs out of bullets. He picks up Crims' gun which is able to set him up to get that frag right there. Namiga show off an insane new Virgo boost towards the A site where it involves three players. One player jumps on top of the spindles, the other player boosts that player to get on that player there where you have a two player boost and the top player is able to see towards the top of Ivy top yellow as well as if any CTs go towards area 51 in the back platform. The only downside with this boost is if the T's are coming up ramp you're going to be in trouble as shown here. Useful boost to get an early frag, however, if the T's show heavy ramp presence, then you might want to give it up. There's a new way to flash B stairs from the position where you would smoke top stairs. This flash is going to set up your teammate who is towards wood, and that teammate here is Isaac who gets a nice 2k, blinding the T here towards stairs. Pink Gaming on B in the after plant is going to use this boost on top of the wood where Kawas, the top player, is able to spot any CTs that would be towards window. Unfortunately, they won't spot anybody because the CTs choose to save, but this is an insane boost. Vinny from A ramp smokes A site, and from the same position, he is going to flash A site. The flashes bounces off, the crane won't blind his teammates, and they're going to blind any CTs towards short. 
Krimbo below ladder inside the doorway has this position where he can spot this small little gap to spot if any CTs are above the ladder. You can also wall bang through that gap comes out mid safely by throwing this Molotov that is going to take care of any offers holding the tight angle but be careful they could be up close to that gap. ZTR throws two B retake flashes. The first flash is to cover anybody up close. Second flash is for sight. Axile is going to get hit with that first flash and then he gets fragged on. We know sometimes that the CTs preemptively make a hole in the door but this time around 3D Max are going to be retaking and they're going to use these holes to get a lot of info which is going to set them up for the successful retake. The safest way to Molotov's second vent is to throw the Molotov off the top of the first vent so you're not exposed to anyone that is peeking towards the door. Sensu from backside is going to throw a defensive smoke which is going to put out the T's backside Molotov. This smoke allows him to play around the edges towards the right side as well as the left side. Hasso pushes ramp into trophy and he's going to hold this off angle and the reason why he does so is he's able to spot the T's shadow first. He gets that early advantage knowing the T's are coming. Check out this aggressive CT setup from Wildcard which involves Stanislaw throwing a deeper door smoke, flashing through the T door lurk smoke and pushing through both smokes where he is going to stand to the right of the doorway inside the door. And then his teammate Sonic is going to flash him through, which he pushes through, get the backstab, and his teammate is going to peek out hut too. Sadoto shows an insane upper retake smoke from outside heaven, jump on top of railing, aim here, left click throw. Then he's going to break the wrong window as you'll see the smoke is going to go towards the opposite window and it's going to land top of the silo which is not the right position and extends down. Sadoto was supposed to break the left window and then the smoke is going to come through the window, bounces down towards the end of the silo extending to the left. The smoke will allow you to safely come out heaven, blocking off anyone towards this side as well as the door side. And my BR retake cave after the Molotov ends from the T's and Sonny throws one flash, then his teammate falls up with another flash off the pillar, he swings off the second flash. Dejoko with a trick play where he smokes off cave, then he makes his way to canals and outside of cave he's going to set up to throw this cave Molotov and instead of going to the left of cave, he instead is going to the right of cave and edges around the smoke which he is going to catch the CT off guard. Duo setup from phase towards mid where Kerrigan is going to push a bridge, holds this off angle where he can see the T's first. Meanwhile, this is happening, Brokey's holding this right side. Dexter's not expecting anybody to be there. Everyone knows you could smoke Temple from cave, but did you know you could also smoke left B site by throwing the smoke off this wall like Brokey does here? Frozen Nate's top cave at the beginning of the round and this is the easiest lineup I've seen and it does 50 HP to this player jiggle peeking. If you want a defensive flash from A main, use this one from Exercise who throws it off this pillar which the flash is going to bounce behind him, lands towards heaven and it won't blind him as he peeks A main. Insani makes a smart play where the T's throw the left side smoke. He throws a smoke in front of that smoke which allows him cover to sneak up on the bomb planter and knife them and then take the gun and fall back safely. Insani the smoke criminal gets 1500, stops a plant, gets an AK and falls back. Nico from Canals is going to smoke the right sight B sight. Afterwards he jumps on top of the barrels to hold the flank for mid which he gets the frag. Meanwhile over towards the B sight platform, 3D Max are going to counter the Nico smoke. Gravity is able to see over the smoke and he is going to land the most insane and lucky 3k spray here. OG retake cave control using this nade set from Fiku who is going to smoke cave then once the Molotov ends he's going to flash his teammates into cave and they send two players to get control. Gravity shows an insane defensive B flash for any type of execute play when the T's are coming in through B main and this flash lands in front of the pillar so he is not going to get blind. Nico and Mobs are the entry fraggers and they get hit with this flash and cannot see at all. If you enjoyed the video, I greatly appreciate if you smash that like button, subscribe for more pro tips and tricks, and comment down below to help the YouTube algo and I'll see you in the next one.